Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is J-Mac, and today we're back with another video, back with another box opening. Today we are opening up three hobby boxes of 21-22 Series 2 Hockey. Um, yep, we got three of them. They were fairly cheap, which is actually pretty good for a decent rookie crop, in my opinion. Um, it goes pretty deep down. There's a few duds, but other than that, it seems like this crop is actually not bad. So, in my opinion, it does a little bit better than Series 1. So, um, first off, obviously, I apologize if I feel, uh, if you hear me talking a little nasally, I'm definitely a little bit under the weather. But um, release day was yesterday, so I know I had to rip these open at some point. So, um, we're going to rip into them today and sick or not we're going to try and get some pull a good pull so we're going to do one box in this video we'll do the other two in the next video so uh yeah sit back and relax and we're going to go through the boxes and hopefully we can get some good stuff so yeah let's see what we can do all right so here are the packs we have the box open and we're ready to go there's always one pack that slides out every time so um yep we're going to open these up uh you know the deal with series one series two and extended uh we're gonna get right into it and we will hopefully get a good young gun so uh yeah let's get right into it all right patrick kane on the front here so i like to see patty kane now. um but yeah we'll kind of go through these packs a little bit slow and then we'll pick up the pace in the next two boxes so uh yeah so let's go ahead and take a look here's the base we got joe pavelski here so um just your regular series or 2020 21 look so uh there's that so you got a joe pavelski uh jonathan quick Ilya Sorokin, you got alexander texier and a jonathan dolan marquee rookie so there's the opg you're supposed to get four OPG updates in here, so there's that. Then we got a Kyrie Yamamoto, Mitch Marner, and a Valerie Nuchushkin. But yeah, first we'll start talking about the young guns. Obviously, Lucas Raymond and Mord Sider are the two you want to be looking for in here, so uh, those are the ones you want to keep an eye out for. So, um, so first off, we have Nino Niederreiter, Alexander Romanov, we got Ricardo Kell, Keith Yandel, regular base, OPG. Uh, then we got Kyle Connor, Nick Paul. Robert Thomas and Victor Olsen. We're kind of blanking on names, but I know like Anton Ludell's in here. So, um, but yeah, once we get more into like the actual crop, um, we'll get to talk about it. But um, we got a Philip Hedl, Scott Lawton, TJ Oshie, Jake Muzzin, and a canvas of Blake Wheeler. So you guys know how I feel about canvases. And then you got no stands, no fans in the stands. So it's definitely an older picture of Blake Wheeler there. So um, yeah, there's a Blake Wheeler canvas. Then we got a Leonard. Kirby Doc and Brady Shea. But yeah, speaking of Raymond and Cider, so uh, I've seen online already there's been a Lucas Raymond high gloss and a more Cider um, exclusives pulled so far. So um, there's definitely some great potential in here. Um, all right, so we got a Travis Hamannick base to start off. Anthony Mantha after that. Nikita Kucherov already showed it. Nick Obel, Obe Kupel and a Lucas Raymond marquee rookie retro. So. This is a guy you want to be looking for here. So, um, yeah, there's a Lucas Raymond uh, marquee rookie retro. Obviously, we're looking for his young guns, but that's not bad there. So, uh, then we got a Sean Couturier, Dimitri Orlov, and Ilya Mikheyev. Yeah, him and Sider uh, were actually really, really good this year for Detroit. So, that's why they get the top honors there. But, um, yeah, we got Jared Anderson Dolan. We got Alex Petrangelo, Phil Kessel, and a Vesely Podkolzin. I've been trying to pronounce this name forever now, but Vesely Podkolzin, uh, marquee rookie. Um, a good, good potential here, for sure, for Vancouver. So, um, yeah, tough name to say, Vesely Podkolzin. So, like to get his young guns too. That'd be a nice one. He's a top five slash ten in my opinion. Then we got a Leon Dreisaitl, Kevin Shattenkirk, got a Matt Duchesne, and a Aaron Ekblad. All right, let's head on to the next pack here. So let's see what we got. Do we have Young Guns yet? Uh, this is probably Young Guns. All right. So let's see. We got a Vladislav Gabrikov. Oops. Well, um, I think I revealed who it was. Uh, Jamie Alexiak. We got some Seattle cards in here, which is nice. Uh, Connor Clifton. And there we go. David Ferentz, uh, Young Guns. Uh, David Ferentz, uh, somebody I seem to pull a lot. David Ferentz is a um, center or defender, defender for Nashville. He's only played a couple games for them, but um, yeah, and that's not a 
terrible one, not a great one, but it's not a terrible one. So there's a David Ferencz Young Guns for our first one. Then we got a Vetrano, Max Pacioretty. We got a uh, Barrett Hayton and a Mark Stahl. All right, one Young Gun down. Got five more to go. So let's see. We have another Young Guns here. So let's see. We got a Tyson Barry. Seems like these are sticking a little bit, but um, then we got a Vinny Trocek. Then we got a Dawson or Damon Severson, and a Dawson Mercer. I was about to say Dawson Mercer for the last card, but yeah, Dawson Mercer, Young Guns. So, oh, and we got a uh, exclusives. Okay, so uh, first we'll do this. Um, So we got a Dawson Mercer, Young Guns. It is actually one of my favorites. Um, Definitely a top 10 player, in my opinion. Um, I like Dawson Mercer. I think he's a really quick young guy. I think he's 20, or 19. Sorry, he's 19. Um, I think he's definitely going to be in... Uh, New Jersey's top six if not next year the year after that I feel like he's really good so um, yeah there's a Dawson Mercy on gun so that's really good there um, then we got an exclusive base of Mikhail Granlin number nine of a hundred so um, how many series ones did we open uh, did we open like what four or five and we didn't even get one number card so um, great start here so uh, yeah an exclusives of Mikhail Granlin so that's a good one there then we got Barkovsky, Larson, and Nieto. For the next two um, boxes, I'm going to fly through the base because, you know, we don't really need to be seeing that too much. So, uh, start off with a Kucherov and Ovechkin checklist. Then we got a Brent Sutter, Joel Erickson Eck. Oh, well, it's a uh, base. Uh, it's uh, Alexander Barabanov. Looks like there's a double space in that. That's weird, but there's a Barabanov. Um, and then we got a Karel Vel... Vel Velmelka, yeah, Velmelka, that's what it is, um, I believe he's on Toronto now, if I'm not mistaken, um, so, uh, there's our, I think this is the last OPG, but yeah, there's a Velmelka, um, marquee rookie there, so that's good, and then we got a Tara Vinen, McLeod, and a Wayne Simmons, all right, next pack here, Let's see what we can get, so we start off, we got a Jason Spezza, we got Ryan Getzlaff, Ryan O'Reilly, Paul Statney, Checklist of Nathan McKinnon and Leon Dreisaitl. Um, okay, there's there's no insert in here. Kevin Granlin, regular. Uh, Gergensen's and Athanasio. I mean, I technically got a Young Guns and a uh, Exclusives in one pack. So, I mean, that was probably just a makeup there. All right, so let's see. We got a Jesper Faust. We got a Jonas Solo. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, Joel Armia. And then a Ryan Getzlaff, UD Canvas. Obviously, Getzlaff last year in the league. So, congratulations again to him. But there's a Ryan Getzlaff, a base, or uh, canvas there. Maxime Comtois, Jordan Cairo, Neil Pionk, and Jordan Everly, another Seattle guy. All right, next pack here. We got a Seattle right in the front, too. We got um, Hayden Fleury. So, there's a Hayden Fleury base there. Um, for Seattle, and then we got a Drake Batherson, got a Mike, Ry why does his name look so small? They made his name really small, like, really small, interesting, um, but yeah, there's a Mike Riley, and then we got a portrait of rookies of a physio pod Colson, so there's a rookies of pod Colson there, uh, looking fine as heck. Um, and then we got a Lindholm, Ivan Provorov, Austin Kraus, and Oliver Wallstrom. Moving on to the next pack here. Let's see what we can get. So, start off with a Taylor Hall. Then we got a Patrick Kane, Nick Cousins, Crystal Tang, and a 2021-22 honor roll of Robin Leonard. Just a regular insert there. So, there's him. Then Zabanejad, Pasternak, and Besser. All right. Let's see. What do we have? We have how many young guns do we have? Uh, two. I think we have just two. Yeah, I believe so. So, um, still looking for more. So, let's see what we can get here. So, we got a Barbashev, Jonas Brodeen, Logan Couture, uh, Brady McNabb, and a Philip Tomasino Young Gun. So, this is a top five for me, in my opinion. I think he's number five for me, honestly. Um, I like Tomasino. I think he's a great player. He's going to be good for Nashville. Um, a good centerman. Um can skate a little bit he likes to shoot the puck so um yeah that's a that's a good one to have so there's a phil tomasino young guns he was doing good in the ahl so um does it have his ahl numbers on here yeah um 32 points in 29 games so he's a plus 20 so he's definitely a uh you know a team player so that's good so um yeah there's a phil tomasino young guns so that's pretty good um then we got a backland bennett 
Yeah, Van Reemstijk. So what do we have? Three Young Guns now. So uh, we're halfway through on those, and we might get another Young Guns here. So let's see. We got a Casey Middlestat, Connor Hallebach. We got a Casey Zizekas, John Leonard, and here's another one of Jesse Yelonen. So that's not a bad one, Jesse Yelonen, um, for Montreal there. Uh, he's an American. That's nice. Um, played a game for the Canadians, but um, he is a defenseman. No, he's a right winger. Um, so that's not a terrible one to get. Jesse Yelonen. Um, I've heard of him before, but yeah. Uh, there's a Jesse Yelonen. Uh, and then we got a Connor Murphy, Igor Shosturkin, and Tyler Bertuzzi. All right, next pack. Let's see if we can get anything good in this one. We got a blue OPG. So let's see. We got a Ryan Hartman, Alex Barkov, Austin Matthews, and a Jesse Alone in Marky Rookie Blue. So uh, back to back Yelonans, and at least they didn't use the same picture, so that's good. So, yeah, there's a Jesse Yelonan, a Marky Rookie Blue. I like how they put the variations here. Um, we got a Nugent Hopkins, Joanne, Lindgren, and Colton Zizzo. And again, sorry for my voice, I feel like I'm slurring my words a little bit, but just just bear with me. Uh, we got a Dazzler, so let's see. I've seen the Dazzlers, and they actually look really good. Um, so we got a little Bronick, we got Alec Martinez, Calvin DeHaan, and a Jacob Markstrom Dazzlers. I do like the look of that. It looks so much better than previous Dazzlers. Like, 2021 was good, but 21-22 Series 2 is so much better. I think they did a fantastic job with these Dazzlers, so um, they have a little, like, um, you know starry effect and actual it looks like fireworks you know what i mean so um yeah there's a dazzler that looks really good um then we got a patrick maroon and he looks so weird without a beard and with really really long hair um we got gina malkin uh connor sherry and igor sharon all right so i think we're looking for two more young guns so let's hope that we can get a good one here i think we have a black canvas um so let's see what we got here we got amigo ranton in we got an Andrew Kopp, who's on the Rangers. Uh, we got a Brady Kachuk, uh, Matthew Joseph, and it is a black canvas. It is of Kyle Ocposo black canvas. So, um, yeah, just a little Easter egg for the black canvases, but nothing too crazy. If it's a uh, Young Guns, then it's way better. But, um, yeah, there's a black canvas of Kyle Ocposo, so there's that. Then a Ben Markstrom. And All right, let's see what this next pack does for us. We got another canvas here. Uh, so we got Fetch, we got Cassian, Sam Steele, uh, Dante Fabro, and a Kirill Kaprizov canvas, okay? So yeah, this one's actually pretty nice to have. Kirill Kaprizov's always a nice one to have. So uh, canvas might actually sell a little bit. So there's a Kaprizov uh, canvas card. So that's really cool in the reverse retro jersey. Um, then we get a Hughes, Connor Brown, and John Klingberg. Something I'll have to look back for is French variant. I totally forgot about French variant. So um, we'll have to see if we can get one of those. Ooh, we have a canvas, Young Guns. Um, all right, let's go ahead and put that in the back. Trying to get it. There we go. All right. So we got the canvas, Young Guns, in the back. It's sideways, I think. Lucas Raymond's that way. So... That would be nice. All right. So we got a Dylan Larkin, Tyson Jost, Braden Point, who did make his return for the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, Rupe, yeah, Rupe Hints, Kyle Poso, Jonathan Taze. We got a Ryan Strom and the Young Guns canvas. I believe it's this way. But yeah, if it's sideways, I'm pretty sure it's Lucas Raymond. No, it's not. Is that Cider? Oh, it's Mason McTavish. Oh, that's really good. Mason McTavish Young Guns Canvas. Ooh, that's a good one to have. Mason McTavish. Um, top five um, Young Guns. I think, in my opinion, he could be number three or four. He could flip-flop him with anybody else. But, um, yeah, Mason McTavish is a good one to have. He's with that good, young Anaheim core that they have there. So... Um, had 11 points in 13 games for um, the Swiss League. So, um, yeah, that's a good one to have. So, we got yourself as a young gun canvas. So, and it's not Brett Murray. So, that's a that's a good one to have. So, yeah, there's a Mason McTavish young guns canvas. So, that's really cool. All right. Let's see what this pack can do for us now. I think we got another OPG. Uh, we got an Owen Tippett, Bowen Byram, Ilya Yulabushkin, uh, and Igor Chinikov. Um, portraits there. 
for Columbus. So there's a Chinnikov. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Chinnikov should be. So um, yeah, there's that. Uh, and then we got Ajay Kopitar, Mark Nelson, uh, Patrick Laine, and Jay Gardner. We got <coughs> four more packs to go, excuse me, um, before we end the video. We got a Young Guns here, so let's see. Uh, we got a Robbie Fabry, Ryan McDonough, John Marino, Tom Wilson, and a uh, Justin Richards Young Guns. Um, Justin Richards is probably one of the worst ones to get. Not saying anything bad about him, but um, yeah, Justin Richards isn't anything to stand out for. So um, he's from Orlando, and he played a game, and got an assist. So um, yeah, he's a defender, right? No, he's a centerman. So um, New York definitely doesn't really need him. So there's um, young gun number five, I believe. So there's uh, Justin uh, Richards, then Ovi Preco, and Brandon Tanner. All right, um, we got three more packs to go so let's see what we can get here um so we got chris drieger who's actually out seven to nine months um when did he have a um uh achilles injury or something he tore something i forgot what it was but it could be acl achilles i forgot what it was but he's out seven to nine months which is unfortunate for seattle um rocco grimaldi here we got henry yoki haru dustin brown and nice and alex new hook young guns so Alex Newhook is probably in my top five as well. If not, he slipped to six, but I really haven't had a good chance to look at the Young Gun core. But um, yeah, Alex Newhook's good. I do like him. Um, he played six games, got three points. He was a plus five. So um, yeah, what is he? Centerman? Yeah. Um, Newhook's good. Uh, Colorado's basically stacked, honestly. Like they have good young players, they got good current players. So I mean, what else can you say about Colorado? If they win the cup, I mean, good for them. They just definitely deserve it. So um, there's Colorado's uh, Alex Newhook. So there's our last Young Guns. Uh, and then we got a Carey Price. We got a Hampus Lindholm and a Colin Miller. The penultimate pack. I'm not really expecting too much, I think, anymore. So um, we're going to go right through this. So we got a Sue Ben. We got a Matthew uh, Highmore. That's interesting. You got a base. Uh, Matt Murray. And then we got a Joe Valeno, um, on a roll rookie. So there's a rookies of Valeno. Then a Gabe Velarde, Ruff Balsers, Mark Stone, and Kevin Fiala. Final pack before we end the video. Let's see if we get enough with a bang. Uh, we got a Andrew Maggiapani. Oh, we got a marquee rookie here. Uh, Travis Sanheim, Christian Fisher, and a Michael Hauser marquee rookie. So Hauser is, um, Buffalo's goaltender there. Um... Him and Ukopeka Lukanen basically going to be battling for the backup role next year. And maybe even starter, who knows. Um, but I don't think anybody's going to be taking that starting role. So, um, yeah, there's a Michael Hauser, Marky Rookie Retro. So, there's that. Then we got a Nick Ehlers, Anthony Beauvillier, uh, Eric Carlson, um, and a Sam Gagne to end it off. All right, guys, there's been a box of 21-22 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. I feel like this was a really good box, honestly. I feel like there wasn't a lot of duds. We got some good um, young guns here. Nothing to complain about. We got a nice canvas. That's always nice to have. Uh, we got a black there, too. But, yeah, I feel like this was a really good box. Honestly, the worst young guns we had. We had two bad young guns. And I feel like, in reality, the rest of them were really good. So, I can't complain at all. And I feel like this was a really good box. So, um let me go ahead and hold up where where is that where is it hold up wait a minute let me find my guy there it is so yeah this is definitely i feel like the best hit um that makes him mctavish young guns canvas so <coughs> jeez all right but um yeah this is definitely the hit of the day for this box so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you uh want to check out the other two boxes uh that'll be coming out soon so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, have fun, and this guy looks like a little dicky a little bit, I feel like. Just the curly hair, I guess, but I don't know. Maybe not.